Well, Cinematic Studio Woodwinds is finally here. People have had a lot of expectations for this library, so I'm going to go deep on this one. No pulling punches. I want this video to be a reference for the library. Part 1 will be focused on how the library sounds out of the box, so you can use your ears to decide if you think the results you're hearing is what you want in a Woodwinds library. Then for those critical listeners and seekers of excellence in libraries, Part 2 will focus on all the details, performance and functionality of the library sounds. We're going to go in order of section here. Flutes, clarinets, then the rest of the reeds. Let's get started.
Content-wise, The Woodwinds volume of the series is packed with the most variety, with a modest selection of instruments, plus a two ensembles for flutes, clarinets, oboes and bassoons. This allows you to get that three-player section by layering with the solo instruments. Four mics are provided. A 
as well as the mixed perspective. I find the mixed mic to be the most balanced overall here. As usual with the Cinematic Studio series, the samples aren't cut into, so the response on the keyboard will feel a little sluggish, especially for the legatos. Authenticity comes at a price. If you're okay with the learning curve, then you'll get the most out of the library. The Cinematic Studio series has always been the dark souls of sample libraries in this manner. There's a wind up to every attack, and you just have to get good if you want to get the most out of it. The longs are appropriately expressive without being too garish. The shorts are perfect for getting the right amount of movement, especially the tongued staccatissimos. While the Mikado mode has surprising agility and response, possibly the best of its kind for a woodwinds library. You also get the re-tongued note legato, which is important for stated passages. All this for $400, or if you've bought previous cinematic studio libraries, under $300. For a pro-grade multi-mic woodwinds library with some advanced features, this kind of deal puts packages like Spitfire Studio Woodwinds Pro, Symphonic Woodwinds and Orchestral Tools Berlin Woodwinds to shame. Is this library worth getting? Absolutely. Should you buy this library? That's a much deeper conversation, which we'll delve into in part two.